previously on Alan Wake. I'm hunted by the law. Sheriff, Wake's running. I'm giving chase. Are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies? A thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. <sighs> it's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. The shock of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, okay Alan. Just, Just let go. Go, go, go. So welcome me, back to Alan Wake. I felt like this was happening to someone else. We have someone just begun the fourth episode. I couldn't, think. couldn't focus. The door was locked. Damn. I was a prisoner here. The window. Something. God damn it. Oh well. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. <laughs> I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of It's still blurry out at the edges of the screen. Of you. Now, it's kind of weird. Sort of like a, a dream or something. you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Hmm. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. I don't trust anything in this game. This Everything just escalates quickly Most and turns right into now. a bad dream or a Not horror story. A trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Yeah, sure. This way, Alan. <laughs> and now the gorilla is stuck. Or he just left. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. What? Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations. The fuck? Paranoid delusions. Unusual thinking. An obsession about light and darkness. A feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Mm, this it's is kind of head. weird, everything. Been making it, up. it has to be a Apart dream or his fantasy. Your wife, no trying to make him stop looking your for Alice or something. Just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. 
I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? No. <laughs> You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. Those black skies doesn't look normal. Something's about to happen. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't and it? And it's windy. Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was hmm. nothing but waves. Yep, and thunder. It seems there's a storm. Of coming. course. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface <laughs> Never mind. the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, um. this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. <laughs> Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly in some way. I dug my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Come along. Let's go Yay. inside. What is this Here guy doing? To the office wing. <laughs> what? Scary, scary. What the fuck? <laughs> Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. <laughs> you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Emerson. It's fucking scary. Making some progress with and he knows Taekwondo. Elbow strikes. Ah, shit. It does involve some small <laughs> which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. Oh no, elbow strike again. Oh no. <laughs> no more of these psychos. <laughs> Come, Alan, this way. <laughs> This place is funny. <laughs> oh god. As soon as you feel up to it, you should This these are the guys from the bar. From the the cafe, the diner. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. And I hope it wipes that? this place off the face of the earth. Oh. It could I was just thinking it could be a painting for one of Alan's books. And Tor. They had a How should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. <laughs> they are <laughs> oh, this place is crazy. <laughs> They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room. Try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, he'd 
love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. Those two guys are fucking funny. The guy with the hammer is like Thor, and and the other one is like um, Odin. <laughs> so Nordic. This way. Think. Yeah. Oh, Grandma's still here. And what the is this guy doing? Oh, never mind. And she's she's not singing anymore. Oh well. What? Hey, wake. Why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? Typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs. Oh, thank you. That was actually just what I needed. <laughs> so, what? This game is so spooky. Only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always Nothing's good is going to come out of this. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, wake! You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? <laughs> I didn't know what the chaos was all about. It's the rock, rock and, and roll, guys. Investigate <laughs> racket. So we have to go down, or what? I can be. What a page? Can we go over here? Oh, that's not where we're supposed to go. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? <laughs> what? There's just beating ev everybody up. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had to come. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd be keeping them. Okay, so this way. And fast. What in here? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred. What? Oh shit. <laughs> Ow, about time. Barry. Oh, coffee. Man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next yeah, door. Yeah, I know. You okay? Yeah. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine.
Oh shit. Everything's going nuts again. Okay, not that way, not that way. This way. Fuck, 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 fuck. Go. Go! Oh. Come on. There we go. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Fuck, 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 fuck. I needed light to get the possessed bookshelves out of my way. Need light? Uh, some source, some light up here. I think. By the, the corner. Yeah, here it is. Fuck. Let's just go. No. In here. And over here. Fuck. Fuck. And in here. And, um, what? And use the flare. Let's just go, go, go. Oh, that was a page. Page. Fuck, fuck. Fuck. I'm here, I guess. What? Oh, fuck. Just use the ball. Right. Let's go. Okay. So let's go real quick. I found the car, but the gate's locked. You're gonna have to go through the oh, hedge maze over there. Fucking great. Barry, I don't have a light. <laughs> Take this out. Awesome. Oh god! Look at the house, Al! Oh shit. Where were we supposed to go around? Can we get it to throw stuff like this? This way? I think it is. There we go. Okay. I will end this episode here. Um, it was a long episode. A uh, long start <laughs> for the fourth episode. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, comment on the video and subscribe if you would like to see some more and I will see you in the next part of Alan Wake. Goodbye.